Well, good evening. Welcome back to Vision Baptist Church. How y'all doing tonight? It's good to see you here this evening. I had a good time this morning, and it was good to have visitors once again, and uh, a good service. Looking forward to a good service tonight. So, uh, Brother Greg, come lead us in a song, please. Find him 598. Wherever he leads, I'll go. 598. Please stand if you're able. 598. Take up thy cross and follow me. I heard my master say, I gave my life to ransom thee. Surrender. My heart, my life, my all I bring to Christ who loves me so. He is my master, Lord and King, wherever Father, we come before you tonight, and we thank you that we have, again, the privilege to meet this evening. We thank you for the folks that are here. We do pray tonight that as we meet, that uh, we could worship you in spirit and in truth, as the Bible tells us we must in John chapter 4. And uh, Lord, I pray also tonight that uh, you would be with and comfort each of those members of our church that cannot be here tonight, and uh, protect them, bless them, bring them back to us safely. Uh, Lord, tonight we lift up our nation before you once again. We ask for protection for our leaders. We pray that you would give our leaders wisdom. We pray that they would not only understand what to do in regard to <clears throat> the situation we have right now with uh, this disease, but also that they would know what's right to do in all areas, uh, matters that uh, face us day by day, matters of righteousness, uh, things like uh, allowing the Bible to be opened in schools and teaching the truth of creation and allowing <clears throat> us to uh, enforce laws that prohibit the, the killing of, of, of the innocents. And, uh, Lord, so many things that our nation has strayed away from you on, I pray you would bring us back. And Lord, do things that we can't do uh, to change our nation, but forgive us for our sins, and I pray that you would heal the nation. I pray tonight that as our church meets that you'd give us <clears throat> uh, a good opportunity to hear from the word of God and I pray the Holy Spirit could work in our hearts and change our lives and we ask these things in Jesus name amen, amen. you may be seated hymn 581 tis so sweet to trust in Jesus 581 
is so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know the saint the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus, just to trust his cleansing blood, just in simple faith to plunge me neath the healing, cleansing flood. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've moved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him. Verse 3. Yes, tis sweet to trust in Jesus, just from sin itself to cease, just from Jesus simply taking life and rest and joy and peace. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. I'm so glad I learned to trust thee, precious Jesus, Savior, friend. And I know that thou art with me, wilt be with me to the end. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, it is time for our missionary report. And uh, as Mark prepares to come, just want to mention a couple of things. When we are uh, posting on the internet, on YouTube, uh, we cannot tell you about all of our missionaries because there are some countries that don't welcome the gospel. Amen. That is a shame before the Lord, and that is an occasion where this morning's message definitely has to be amended. And remember, it's God's given us the goal to get the gospel to the world. And uh, when it's not welcome, we go anyway. And uh, so pray for our missionaries. I know of at least two of them that are in countries that do not love the Lord Jesus Christ, don't want people to hear about the gospel. And, uh, but this missionary is in our country. And uh, Brother Mark, come along and tell us about the Larson family. Okay. I know it's bright outside, but good evening. Good evening. Okay. The, um, well, the Larsons are uh, our church planners here. And... Uh, well, they've, they've run across a few good things, a few different things here. I mean, in early morning of Tuesday, March 3rd, a powerful storm system produced a, uh, a, uh, at least four tornadoes that struck central Tennessee. This storm system caused significant damage near downtown Nashville as well as uh, in Donaldson Mountain, uh, Juliet, and uh, Cooksville. Oh, they had just been there before that, getting ready for a reseeding action and getting um, letters out and all kinds of stuff done, setting up for a church. Matter of fact, it, uh, Jacob Fanny BMI started their church seven months ago. This was over in Nashville, Tennessee. So now they're talking about what happened during that time. Tennessee Independent Baptist Churches. Uh, who were on the ground providing disaster relief to the communities that were hardest hit. Though uh, social media and our BMI website were asked God's people for help, funds were needed to help those who were on the front lines providing disaster relief assistance and ministering to families who had lost everything, including family members. Through generous gifts from churches and individuals, BIMI Reseeding America 
was able to send thousands of dollars for tornado disaster relief to the hard hit area. Okay, very good. Now the next problem. As COVID-19 became more of a uh, threat here in the United States, we realized that our schedule was going to be drastically rearranged. After preaching a mission conference and a um, Wednesday night meeting in Ohio, we started getting calls from the churches. We had to cancel our meetings for most of March and April. Uh, at that point, Jennifer and I decided to make our way to North Carolina to complete a direct mail campaign for a church restart near Statesville. Since the direct uh, mail material was already printed, we were ahead with the mail out. Please pray that God will use the materials to speak to the hearts during the virus pandemic. Okay, we have our church planners that uh, have their meetings canceled, but they're still doing what they can. They said, hey, we'll go take advantage here and do it this way. That's one of the, uh, I guess that's one of the great things of being all around and being called for so many things. As I typed the date on this prayer letter, I thought of the tremendous changes we have all witnessed worldwide because of COVID-19. Jennifer and I are well and are now home in North Georgia. We pray that you and your family are healthy as well. Over the past two weeks, we have been contacting the BIMI Receiving America missionaries and church planners to get an update of their health and ministries. It has been encouraging to see how our men continue to proclaim the gospel message on Facebook, YouTube, Zoom, videotape, and drive-in services. All of them are looking for innovative ways to minister to their people and communities. Please pray for the safety of their financial support to, the, to be sustained during uh, the crisis. Well, we have a lot of people who have been, it's not just a setback, it's just a, another way to go about things. Amen. People are having to think about that. Well, we have this, let's go over here, let's try this, let's go try this. So, uh, we can still stay six feet away from people and we can preach the gospel Amen. and let them all know. So let's go ahead and pray for the Larsons and the rest of the BMI missionaries that are out there. Father, we thank you for all the many blessings that you've given us here. We praise you that we have the place to worship, the freedom to worship. We ask your blessings now upon the uh, Larsons as they continue their missionary journey in uh, a different way, whatever way is provided. We pray that you continue to provide all these different ways for all the people. Help us in what we do. Help all the missionaries that we have out there. Keep them safe. Have them, uh, well, give them the knowledge and the wisdom and the fortitude help them in all that they do to serve help us back here to serve we ask your help and guidance in all we do in jesus name amen